this whole sort of individual achievement thing is such a myth. You're growing up and you're sold a certain sort of brand of masculinity. I've certainly grown up in a world where I'm far more valued as a person if I'm achieving things. There's been lots of times when I've turned to Emma for support. You know, I think through injury, she's been you know, one of the few people that I can be really honest with, with how I'm feeling, not have to try and put on a brave face. So Dave's got like all the IP in the garden, and I'm the... The labourer. Uh, grunt. <laughs> Men, generally myself included, want to be the person who does it themselves, who's viewed as strong. Soldier on kind of thing and not be perceived as weak. I think as men we can be a lot more willing to ask for help. I also have that cultural training that men should be tough and just kind of get on with it. It's been quite difficult for me as well to resist that urge to want him to just be the white knight on his horse and actually create space for him to be sad or hurt or frustrated. We all want to be the person who looks like they've got it all together. It's just not the case. Like, we've all got things that we struggle with. I think it's often in showing our fears our vulnerabilities, we actually feel like we belong more.